some of this stuff is, um, definitely not safe for work. Proceed at your own risk. So AI videos are getting insane. We have rumors of a imminent Sora release from OpenAI, their AI video generation model. Nothing's confirmed yet, but we can see that being released sometime this week, maybe. At the same time, Tencent, the Chinese company, releases a, wait for it, open source AI video generation model. But there's one other thing that's happening with AI video that is brand new, that is uh, different. Now, at this point, you probably have heard about Magnific, the image upscaler. You put in any image and it is able to upscale, creating more detail, more resolution. I created this image for a previous video that I did on Magnific, so we took... What did he call it? It's pronounced Magnific. You know what this reminds me of? I wish I could bring home more money. Hey. <laughs> All right, as you were. I created this image for a previous video that I did on Magnific. So we took the Lara Croft video game from the 90s. I don't even know what year, but uh, as you can see by the jagged textures, it's, it's an old game, 90, 90s, 95, maybe, who knows? It's been lost to antiquity. And I was able to upscale it once and then take this image and upscale it yet again to create this image here. And Magnific has been doing some pretty amazing things. I'm a big fan of it. But there's another person, Sergio Suave, who is creating an upscaler, but for video. And it looks like they are powered by the magic of Magnific AI, so some sort of a partnership between the two. Now, let me just say this before we continue. So I'm not getting paid to say any of this. Uh, I'm not affiliated with them in any way, shape, or form. Do your own due diligence. I take no responsibility for my actions. It's my standard disclaimer. But I've been following Javi and the Magnific for a while. I really enjoy everything he does. He's absolutely killing it out there. So Sergio Suave launching Clickative AI. I'm sort of willing to give it the benefit of the doubt, see where they go with this. And I'm very excited about having this technology work because that would allow us, just like we do with Magnific, to take any image and upscale it, change the style, add certain details. That would allow us to do it, but for video. Take any video, whether it's real or AI generated, throw it in this uh, AI video upscaler model and create a brand new version of it with greater textures, finer details. Now in the past, this was kind of difficult to do. The character consistency was awful. People would shift and morph. Their eyeballs would be popping out of their heads. Um, their faces would change, etc. So there's definitely still a lot of sort of technical challenges that have to be overcome before something like this is going to work well. But based on sort of some of the new things that we're seeing with, with what they're putting out, it seems like we're getting closer to potentially solving some of these issues. So it looks like a clickative AI, so it's not out yet. It's still in beta, but there is a beta signup sheet that we can sign up to be one of the early people to test it. It sounds like there's no fee as in a monthly fee to use it. As far as I can tell, you might need magnific credits. So you would have to, you know, I mean, you're paying for the API, the cost of the compute. So there's probably going to be some small fee per video, how much, however much you're spending on the magnific credits. So once again, I'm pretty sure I'll take a pretty big financial hit on this one as I overdraft my bank account so that Javi Lopez can go on his uh, various vacations that he goes to that are quite frankly, kind of weird. I've uh, watched some of them and man, I don't know where he goes, but I do not want to go there. It would give me nightmares for the rest of my life. By the way, I'll link his channel down in the uh, show notes. So if you wanted to check out Javi Lopez and uh, see what he's been posting, some of the videos he posts are just absolutely nuts. If you haven't seen his videos about how he asked an AI to show him how, for example, the Egyptian pyramids were built and it gave him nightmares or how the old time Vikings lived or the truth about World War II. Also, apparently the Duke can sing. I'm pretty sure this is not AI. Not the audio. Algo. La donna immobile, qual più mal vento, muta da sento, ite cantare. Enough? Yes.
Come for the AI, stay for the Opera. Anyways, I signed up for the beta. I will try to get my hands on it, see what it can do, and then report back. Make sure you're subscribed. Don't miss it. My name is Wes Roth, and I'll see you next time.